Hey, this is Anthony from Soul TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Stealth Jacket, available at RevZilla.com. You look good in that stealth jacket, Hivis Brian. This is the stealth, new for the spring of 2016. We have not seen Revit do an armored soft shell, but they're getting it more right than a lot of folks out there, and here's why. It's polycotton twill. Technical. What that means is it looks great. It has a nice hand and it has a nice denier to it. The other thing you're going to realize is it's full stretch, even though it does not look full stretch. So you can do a casual piece like this that's going to move with you. The mobility is awesome. I'm not going to call it a race cut. I'm not going to call it a touring cut. It's somewhere in the middle. It's sporty. Hives Brian has an athletic build and you can see how it sits on his frame. The other thing you'd never know by looking at it and what makes it really a nice two season spring and fall jacket is that it is fully laminated with Hydrotech. So it's waterproof and breathable. So again, allows mother nature to stay out if you're getting caught in the rain and it allows your body to perspire and allows you to stay comfortable because again, it's allowing the perspiration to evaporate out through the membrane. Now, if you looked at it, you think, ah, oh, that's a cool armored soft shell. What it is is very technical, has a great style line to it and has more mobility than you're thinking. Now you're gonna pay for that. It's slightly over the $300 mark. And again, with some of the more casual crossover pieces that we've seen Revit do for the spring of 16, this is one of the more successful options. I think this is definitely my favorite one. You're also carrying CE rated armor with it. So you're C smart in the shoulders and the elbows. This is what C-Smart looks like. See, you're smarter now. This is C-Smart, CE level one. It's going to be flexible. This is going to be an elbow. You can see how it would work. It's not gonna throw off the line of this jacket and it is removable. Now the back does not come with a back protector. That could be a CE level two, C-Soft type RV, but again, gives you that flexibility. So if we think about it. I like it ideally in the spring and in the fall. Mild to medium temperatures, potential to get rained on, great commuter jacket. In the summer, you could unzip it, but it is waterproof. You're not going to get any of that direct ventilation. And the winter, if you're riding all the way through the seasons, maybe have the ability to zip in a thermal vest liner or bring your own base layers, but this guy's not going to come with any detachable liners. And again, they try to keep the price in a reasonable place, even though it's more of a premium assortment that we've seen from other armored soft shells. And we cert haven't, certainly haven't seen any stretch that looks like this that's waterproof either. Now, quick note on sizing. I have Lenny Dykes to my, I'm sorry, Hive is Brian, to my left, six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size large. You can see how it moves with him and sits on his frame, depending on how you're built, it will work with you. It's not going to be stiff and rigid, even though at first glance it has a fashion inspiration to it. Use the size chart, remember we'll ship free over 30 bucks. We're not fickle about taking things back. And as always, I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback on the new Revit Stealth Armored Soft Shell or you could just give Hive is Brian a nickname. That's fine too. Now, moving into some of the other details here. Beefy Vizlon zip. You can see it's a waterproof jacket, so it's got a nice big rain gutter running behind that zip. That's to keep the integrity of the waterproofing. It does have a hood. It is a style piece. The hood's not removable. If I had a slight gripe, maybe a zipper garage up here at the top, but if I go all the way up with it, most people aren't gonna wear it in that fashion. Again, it's not meant to be so overly technical. Basic snapped hand warmer pockets. They do have grommets at the bottom for drainage. Remember, it's a waterproof jacket. And at the bottom of the sleeves, you're gonna see, has almost a jersey knit style. Now, it is a little bit more hardcore. I've seen jersey knit style cuffs done in a lot of gear. If they do it the real soft way, like your collegiate sweatshirt, it's going to fray. It's going to get caught. It's going to get eaten by Velcro. What they've done here is they've given you the more beef, almost tactical version of that. Has a mil spec feel to it without being overly aggressive and in your face. Hive is Brian, turn and face away. Hive is Brian, faces away. Remember, you have that C-Smart armor in it, but you can't see it. CE covers the whole shoulder, covers the whole elbow. I do like that they gave him reflectivity down the elbow. If he raises his arm, Basic style piece, no cinching, no anything, no buckles. It's just meant to fit nicely and be snug at the bottom. Turn back, it's for me there, HVB. What you can't see here is there's a jeans loop. There's also a short connection zipper, so you could wear it with the jeans belt loop from Revit. They allow you to connect those jeans to your jacket if you want to go th that direction. And remember, no back protector. Seasoft Type RV Level 2 is going to be the upgrade. The other thing I like is, hey, this is a hood. When you ride with a hood on, it can be a little too flappy, so they've given you that snap to bring it down. And remember, it's our preference. I'd love to see this with just a normal height collar, maybe no hood as an option. They went hood here. It's a style piece. Again, they're going with that theme. It's like the, it's really like that hooded sweatshirt on steroids. And if you turn this way, this patch is fully removable. So again, we're gonna get high vis Brian patches made with beards and mullets. We could replace that if you like, and you're gonna be able to too. Again, it's stuck on there. That would be coming stock with a low profile Revit logo. Come back around the front for me there, senor. If I open it up, see the inside guts, 
It is going to be that blocked green camouflage. We see that on some of the newer City Collection pieces uh, from Revit. Remember, it does have that short connection zipper, and even in the hood, it's going to have that nice slip liner done in mesh. So very, very basic there. Did they give you the extra pocket on the side? They did. So you can hide any of the things that you like to ride around and hide in that pocket. The next step in your journey is to click the info button on your mobile or your desktop device. Visit the product detail page for the Revit Stealth at RevZilla.com. Read other rider reviews and see if riders are liking it as much as I did. You can tell I was positive on it. I think there's a lot of technicality baked into something that does that surprises you with the direction from a comfort, mobility, and protection standpoint. They were able to take it, and I like where they landed with the Stealth. Remember, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us on the YouTubes. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.